Hi everyone, this is Ida with Justice in That uh, with another share video for you today. Um, my daughter wanted me to make her some type of holder that would hold her jewelry, but she didn't want a jewelry box to, that she could put on top of her dresser. She didn't want to clutter it up, so she wanted me to come up with something that could hang on the wall. So, I went to um, Hobby Lobby and they had I always go to where the knobs are because they have a great selection of knobs. And I found this hook that's right here in the corner. And it actually swivels. So I like that. And I also found this door plate right here. And it's all one piece, the knob and then the plate. And they just happened to be having a 50% off sale. So I went ahead and grabbed both of those. And they only had the one hook. I wish they would have had more because I would have loved to have another one. Anyway, they, they didn't match. The colors didn't match, but that was okay. Then I went to AC Moore and they had these boxes. And I love shadow boxes. Love, love, love them. Well, they had this box, and I thought that would be perfect for a jewelry box. Because she doesn't have a lot of jewelry. She's not a big jewelry fan, but she does have a few pieces. So I thought, well, let me make see if I can turn this into a jewelry box. Originally, I wanted to put the hook on the inside. But it was too wide, so I ended up having to do it on the outside. Which I thought that's okay for a temporary place where she could uh, hang some necklaces or maybe some of her things that aren't as nice you know just the little cheapy jewelry and then she could put her nicer jewelry inside the box so um then i don't know i love to shop at thrift shops goodwills and you can find all kinds of things that you can break apart and alter one thing i love to buy is the fashion jewelry so a lot of the pieces that are on my box are actually from our local thrift store. One of them being the little piece that's on the key. Now this key is just a dollar fifty key that I got from Michaels. And then I added that pearl and gold uh, earring. And all I did was with my wire cutters, I clipped the back part off and I used E6000 and I glued it on there. And then another one of the pieces that I got at my local thrift store is way down here is this piece right here. And it's a very mute, muted light green color, maybe a sage, very light though. And I really like that and I thought it reminded me of something old and vintage. So I went ahead and picked that up for a couple bucks. And then the chain that's right here the, with the pearls that one I also got at the local um, thrift store. And I think I paid $2 for that. But it's not just that piece. It was a bracelet that had several pieces on there. That's just uh, one of the sections. And um, and I adhered everything with um, E6000. And there's a little B right here. A little pearl B. I don't know if you can see it very well. And that, my husband found it. So anytime he finds uh, jewelry, just little fashion stuff, he'll bring it home so I can look at it. So, And that was a pin. I just clipped off the pin part and I used E6000 to glue it on. Then I had a bunch of these uh, paper flowers from Michaels. I think they're like $1.50 or $2. And I adhered those on the outside. And on one of them over here, I added a button to the center. And that's all that is, a button. And I've got some little uh, green sprigs. I don't know if you can see these. And I got those at Joann's, and they, there's a bunch of them. And I added some to the flowers after I had them painted the color. that I, I gessoed the whole thing. And then I added my colors. I bought a bunch of Lindy's sprays and because I wanted it to look old and I knew I wanted the bronze and the rusty looking and I wanted to have the green for like the patina so I got one of their sets 
and I think it came with five in a pack and those are all the colors that I used. I think it's called, hold on, I'll tell you what it's called. I have it right here. It's Industrial Chic. That's the package that I used and this is what it looks like. This one. And it's the Lindy Starburst sprays. And all the colors that I used were in, in that particular package. So, um, the only thing that's uh, metal as far as the flowers go is this little rose right here. But I did gesso it white and, spray, and just did the sprays on the whole thing. And I have this little metal bird right here. And then I have a Tim Holtz little... Those little bars that have different uh, little sayings on it. So let me let's see if it'll focus for you. And that's what I put on the outside. Now these roses that you see on the knob right here, those are just the paper ones as well. And after you Mod Podge them and gesso them, they get pretty firm. Over here on this corner again is some more paper flowers and I just added a flat back pearl to it. And then I added some more flat back pearls to the box. Right there. And right here. Now this is a raised look you see here in this right here. That this piece right here is that tape that you use for to do drywall. And that's all that is. And this right here was actually a stencil. This one and this one up here is stencil and that's modeling paste that I used to do create that effect. So there's the outside. The frame. Let me pull back so you can get a look at the whole thing. Let's see. How far back do I have to go? Okay, there's the whole thing. Sorry about the clutter on my desk. I've been working. On the inside, let me see. The knobs, those pearls that you see there, are just some little wooden pegs. And with E6000, I glued some flat back pearls to make them look so the tips would look like they were antique buttons. But it's just flat back pearls. And, uh,. The shoe, let me tell you about these thrift stores. The lady was really nice, and she had actually let me have this shoe, and it's for rings. It holds your rings for a dollar. The only thing I was having trouble with was the doll that I wanted, the bodice that I, dress form that I wanted to put in there. I couldn't find one that looked Victorian or vintage or anything. So I went to my local dollar store, and they had these dolls, and they were $10, and they actually came with a top part, which I'll show you what that looks like. It's this hook right here, and I took it off because it was too tall for my frame, and I already had hooks in there anyway where she could hang other stuff. So I went ahead and took this off, but... I'm um, don't throw this away. I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna add it to another project and it'll be an outside hook. And the doll actually had a long gown, like a, a black dress long gown, and it was too modern and I needed it to look old, but I do a lot of sewing, so I have a lot of fabric. And what I did was and I didn't like that the that the dress form was plastic and it looked cheap. So what I did, I got, I got some burlap. Let me open this up and show you the inside. Well, let me show you the side first. I attached a, uh, a hinge there where you can actually lock it. It actually has a hole on this little peg for you to insert a lock. So you'll be able to lock this, you know, when you, you know, and you want to keep your nice pieces in there and that way you can lock them up. So I'm going to set this down and this is a magnetic door, has a magnet magnets to close the door, but with all the metal that I had going on, it just wasn't strong enough. 
So I'm going to open it and show you the inside. There are the wooden pegs. And like I said, it's just wooden pegs and they're all through. Two of them are the same Then I had. I only had two that matched and then a different one. But by the time you paint them and add the flat back pearls to them, they look great. And on the inside of the box, I did the same thing. I did that treatment. And some of it's doily. Some of it's that uh, tape for drywall. So you'll see it looks kind of worn and old. Like it's peeling paint, but I like that. And then I had, um, I wanted it to have a drawer for like little earrings, just little things that you can't put on a hook. So I made this little drawer in the corner and it's, and I used a little Tim Holtz, um, little knob as a drawer pull. And here's another little piece of that bracelet that I took apart and I just added a couple dangles, the, the pearls and the key. And I attached lace and I sprayed my lace again with the Lindy so it would have that green to it. The only thing I didn't like is that I used the glossy Mod Podge to adhere it and it's kind of shiny and I really don't like that, but hey, it's okay. And I haven't lined the inside of the box, but I am going to line it with some uh, satin to match the dress. So there's the box and it goes in the corner. So it's got that funny shape. And it fits right in the corner. Let me give you a closer look of the shoe. Here's the shoe. And it is a ring holder. I don't know if that's a good enough look, but I'll tilt it up in a minute and give you a better view. And then here's the dress. Like I said, it was plastic. And what I did, let me see if I can get it to focus and give you a better close-up. I don't know if you can see, but on the bodice, it's actually burlap. And I, I covered it to about right under the bust line with burlap. And I just used a hot glue gun to adhere that to that. And the hooks on the arms here were kind of wide, so I bent them up so they wouldn't take up that much room. And way on top, I on the neck, I adhered another a button. It looks like a vintage button. Oh, there's a good close-up of the burlap. See the burlap? And then I had some organza, and that's what I did the bodice with. And I adhered another button to it right here. And then I just used a little strip of, uh, I'm going to say, I don't know if it's silk. Right here. After I adhered the skirt and the top part, then I did this little strip here to cover, you know, all the ugly stuff that was all gathered. There were the strings and everything that just kind of cleaned it up. And then I hung a little, another little strand of the little pearls with the chain on the waist. And here's the, the dress. This is the long, the back, the overskirt, I guess. And then here's the actual bottom of the dress. But I really like the way it came out. Let me stand it back up and hopefully give you a better view. Let me see. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. So there's a close-up of the shoe. It is a ring holder. And let me pull back some. And there's a better picture of the dress. And I wish I had had more room. But what I did was I actually adhered the shoe with the E6000. So it was kind of hard because I did the dress form afterwards. So I couldn't arrange her dress the way I wanted it. But it looks pretty good. Or I think it does. And there's that little corner drawer. And then the knobs. So it's going to be a great place for her to display her jewelry pieces. And uh, she'll be able to lock it up. 
and let me close it back up and I'm going to give you another shot of the outside let me see if I can get it to to lean on something and there's too much light coming through the window it looks kind of washed out let me stand it up some Hopefully that's better. And there is the outside. Let's see if I can prop it back up. Get a better view. Like I said, I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's kind of difficult. So there is the whole thing. And I think it is gorgeous. Now on the outside of the box, I actually, what I did was I just painted it a rust color with just regular acrylic paint. I didn't Mod Podge or anything on it because I didn't want it to be shiny. So I just left it as is, but kind of dull looking, but I like that. So there it is. I hope you guys like this video and I hope it inspires you. And hopefully when I get a camera, I'll have better quality videos. Mom. Thanks.